In March of 1837, just barely a year after the dedication of the Kirtland Temple, thankful Pratt, Harley's wife, passed away. The circumstances were so very tender. Uh, she died as the, their first child was born. Heber C. Kimball had given a promise that if Parley was faithful, uh, he, they would have a child. And uh, the day that she died was a sad day for Parley, but a day of rejoicing because of the birth of his son. Uh, thankful Pratt had a vision given to her. And in this vision, as Parley relates it, he said she knew that she would have the privilege of departing from this world of sorrow and pain and of going to paradise, of rest, as soon as she had fulfilled the prophecy relating to their promised son. And so he said after the boy died, she lived to accomplish her destiny. When the child was dressed and she had looked upon it, embraced it, she ceased to live in the flesh. And then he said she was overwhelmed with a, a joy and peace, indescribable. He related she seemed changed in her whole nature. From that time forth, she longed to be gone and anticipated the time that she could go. She was buried in the cemetery by the Kirtland Temple, and uh, Parley gave her a wonderful tribute after her death. And one of the most tender statements that he made was this, Farewell, my dear thankful, thou wife of my youth, and mother of my firstborn, the beginning of my strength. Farewell, yet a few more lingering years of sorrow, pain, and toil, and I shall be with thee, and clasp thee to my bosom.